All right, so let me sum up to you what the i5-13400 and the 13400F is uh, from early bird reviews. This is how you should see the i5-13400F before you get it in your next gaming PC build. So let's say there is an i5-12400F, a 6 core 12 threaded CPU priced at around $160. And the highest GPU that you could pair with is something like the RX 6700 XT, alright? If you decided to go higher than that, you will have some CPU bottlenecking and the CPU will not be able to keep up with anything higher than this GPU. Now let's say you wanna go higher, you want a CPU that would be able to handle what's higher than this. You couldn't find anything that would make sense other than the one and only Intel Core i5-12600K. Now how much does this go for? This goes for around $250 plus and the cost of a CPU cooler which is an additional I believe $30. So $280. This might be a bit overkill for the GPU that you want. So you might want to make a transition to AMD which is the Ryzen 5700X and the 5800X for $200 to $230. So this is where we should put the i5-13400 and the 13400F for sub $200. These are the CPUs that will replace this area of budget. So the 12400F will reign supreme as one of the cool budget CPUs to go for. This, these are the CPUs that you will put in the sub $1000 gaming PC. These are the CPUs that you'll need once you wanna go over an RX 6700 XT or an RTX 3070. So I hate to break it to you, if you think the i5-13400F will be the CPU to pair with something like an RTX 4070 and 4080, it's not, I'm sorry, and as you can see from some early benchmarks as I told you, it couldn't keep up with the 13500 and the 7600X, so I'm sorry, this is not the CPU to compete with the Ryzen 5 7600, assuming that the 7600 will be theoretically a 7600X but, but with lower clocks and an included cooler. But that doesn't necessarily mean that this is a bad CPU, so when you compare the i5-13400 in some early benchmarks as I said before, to a 12600K, you will find this CPU kind of trading blows, not the fastest CPU when you compare to the 12600K, not faster of course, but trading blows. And it gets the job done from what it's supposed to do. I mean, it's supposed to be paired with something like an RX 6800 XT, an RTX 3080, 3080 Ti even, but not over that. So yeah, this CPU in my opinion is just a gap filler. It's not the, you know, the CPU to pair with the higher end GPUs, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not the best budget CPU out there. I mean, it's one of the, or may be the best budget CPU. Maybe budget CPUs right now are sub $200, assuming that that GPUs will be for much much cheaper than what they used to at the time CPUs were for sub 150. Does that ring any bell or make any sense? So yeah this is what the i5-13400F is in my opinion and uh, that doesn't mean it's not it's a bad CPU but it's not the CPU that you're looking for if you want the best budget sub $250 CPU to pair with something like an RTX 4080 for example. It's not that at all. This is a CPU to replace the 12600 for a cheaper price of course and to get more performance once you kind of compare it to a 5700X and a 5800X. So yeah, that's been it. A quick video or maybe not, but yeah, this really gives you an idea about what the 13400F is. Thank you for watching and I'm sorry if this video is in a really bad format, but I'll see you in the next one. Peace.